subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Sumatran Rhinoceros. Hi everybody, my name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play a game of hide and seek. I'm gonna close my eyes and count to 10. You hide and then I'll come and find you. You ready? One, two, three, Eight, nine, ten. I'm coming to find you, Hero. Oh, Hero, where are you? Aha! Whoa, you're not, Hero. Hey, you're stuck in a trap. Who did that to you? Let me help you. Easy. I'm just trying to help you. If you struggle, the trap will hurt you. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? It looks like it dragged itself all the way here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, Rhino. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the baby Rhino. Bingo! This rhino is a Sumatran rhinoceros. A Sumatran rhinoceros? Yes, Sumatran rhinos come from the rainforests of Indonesia, specifically in Sumatra, Sabah, and Borneo. They used to be seen in parts of Malaysia as well. But not anymore? Some people believe that horns from rhinos are a miracle medicine, and people have been hunting them for a long time. Right now, there are possibly less than 80 Sumatran rhinos left alive. That trap from earlier was probably set by one of the hunters. Less than 80? Can't the zoos help protect them? Sadly, no. Only five rhinos have been born in zoos in the last 125 years. Rhinos need to be in the wild or they won't have babies. We've got to get this baby rhino back to his home and to his mother, then. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. I think she's really cute. It's a she? Well, the females have shorter horns than the males and... Shh! Do you hear that? It's getting louder. Take care of this, Junior Rangers. Run! Looks like they've gone. Phew! That was close. We must have gotten too close to that rhino's home. Which way now? We got lost while running away from the rhino. To find the young rhino's mother, you have to look for a hot spring. Good luck! So it was her mother all along. She wasn't chasing us. She was trying to get her baby. We did it. We found the mother of the baby rhino. Yay! We found a baby rhino in our garden. And it was a Sumatran rhinoceros. We learned that there are very few rhinos left. 
If they continue to be hunted, they might disappear forever. So we went to the rainforest and brought the baby rhino back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Asian palm civet. Hero, it's dinner time. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, you're out of water. I'll get some more for you. You're finished already? That was fast. Hey, where's this dog food leading to? It's an animal. So you're the one who ate Hero's food. What kind of animal are you anyway? I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still. Hi, Katie. Do you know what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an Asian palm civet. It's also called a toddy cat, but it's not really a cat. An Asian palm civet? So why did it steal Hero's food? Sometimes the Asian palm civet eats pet food that has been left out in the open. But the Asian palm civet usually eats small animals, insects, fruit, and flowers. But now it gets weird. The Asian palm civet also eats coffee beans. And when the civet poops out those coffee beans, some people take the beans and make coffee from them. Wait, what? People make coffee from the civet's poop after it eats coffee beans? And they drink it? Yes, this coffee is called Kopi Luwak. And it's one of the most expensive coffees in the world. Unfortunately, because Kopi Luwak is so popular, some people keep civets in small cages and only feed them coffee beans. Oh no, that's horrible! Absolutely, Leo. Asian palm civets prefer to live outside, in the tropical rainforests in Asia. We should take it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Oh no, come back, Civet. It's going to another plantation. We better go after it. Leaving an Asian palm civet in a plantation is not a good idea. Ugh, this place smells. The smell comes from the durians. They must be ripe. So those fruits are durians? <gasps> that durian almost hit me. Good idea, Hero. My hat and your helmets can protect us, but I don't think we should stay here too long. Hero, can you sniff the civet out? The strong smell from the durians must be covering the civet scent. Hmm, we can use the heat vision on Hero's camera. We can view the image on my tablet. There, on the ground. That's not our civet, it's a wild boar. Poor boar. I don't think it deserved that. There you are. You got us worried. Great. We found our Asian palm civet. Let's head back to the jeep. We did it. We found a home for the Asian palm civet. Great work, everyone.
found an Asian palm civet in our garden. We learned that Asian palm civets like to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So we went to the rainforest to find a home for the civet near palm trees. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Goliath bird eater spider. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm going to explore the garden. I'll be using my magnifying glass to look out for interesting animals. Let's go. Hey, look at this. It's a spider's web. It's the spider. Spiders spin webs to trap insects for food. Let's look for other interesting animals, Hero. Look, it's a hole in the ground. Maybe a rabbit lives here. Listen, I hear the rabbit coming out. Here it comes. Yikes! That's not a rabbit. That's a huge spider. Better keep a distance, Hero. I've never seen such a big spider before. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, spider. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the spider? You're just in time, Leo. This is a Goliath bird eater spider. It's one of the biggest spiders in the world. Although it's called the Goliath bird eater, it almost never eats birds. Sometimes it eats baby birds and eggs, but mostly it eats small animals and insects found on the ground. The Goliath bird eater has venomous fangs, but it doesn't have teeth to chew with. So, after catching an animal, the spider releases juices onto the animal's body to make it soft. The animal's body will become soft enough for the spider to slurp up. The Goliath bird eater is such a good hunter that it doesn't need a web. It can sneak up and pounce on its prey. It will then bite and kill its prey with its venomous fangs. It's not deadly to humans, but it can be very painful. How come I've never seen such a large spider here before? That's because the Goliath bird eater is usually found in the northern part of South America where it lives in the rainforests. Our garden is certainly not the place for such a giant spider. Let's bring it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. The ground is getting muddier. The jeep might get stuck in the mud. So let's continue on foot. Okay, Leo. What was that? <laughs> oh, it's a weasel. Weasels prey on Goliath bird eaters. It's moving so fast. I think it's trying to get the spider. Oh, no. We should help the spider. Come on, Hero. Let's chase the weasels away. Wait, Leo. Remember what Ranger Rocky said? When the spider is defending itself from predators, it can release tiny, sharp hairs that are very painful. We should keep a distance. You're right, Katie. But what else can we do to scare the weasels away? I... I don't know. I can't find anything. I don't think we can scare the weasels away with water, Hero. Whoa! What are you doing, Hero? That's a great idea, Hero. It might work if we shoot the water out our bottles. Let's do it. Shoot, weasels! Leave the spider alone! <laughs> we did it! The weasels are gone! Here you go, spider. Back into the tank. Look, 
It's digging a burrow to live in. We did it. We found a home for the Goliath bird eater spider. Hooray! <laughs> a Goliath bird eater spider in our garden. We learned that Goliath bird eaters dig burrows in the ground and that they live in the rainforests of South America. So we brought the spider back to the rainforest where it made a new burrow to live in. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Taper. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to see what's inside this book? <coughs> it's filled with animals that can camouflage. Camouflage means the animal can hide in the environment because of its skin or fur. Look, here's a picture of an owl on a tree branch. Can you see it? And this tiger is really hard to see in the high grass. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators, but sometimes it helps the predator so it can sneak up on other animals. <coughs> hey, maybe there's an animal hiding in our garden right now. Let's try to find it. How strange. Could this be an animal? Hey, it is an animal. I wonder what animal this is. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a baby Malayan tapir, also known as an Asian tapir. A Malayan tapir? There are five different types of tapirs, but Malayan tapirs are the only tapirs found in Asia. Why does the baby tapir look so different from its mother? That's because the fur coat of the baby tapir acts as camouflage and helps it blend in with the forest floor. It makes it hard for other animals to hunt them. When the Malayan tapir gets older, its coat starts to fade and it will look just like its parents. I see. What about the food they eat? Malayan tapirs feed on leaves, fruits, and plants. They use their long snouts as hands, which they use to pick their food. That sounds handy. Malayan tapirs live in rainforests in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. It must be lost without its mother. And its camouflage doesn't work very well in our garden. We should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby taper would love that. See you downstairs. everyone. We're getting close. What was that? Did anyone hear that? <laughs> ah! Look how fast Baby Taper can run. Oh no! The tiger is trying to catch the Baby Taper. Be careful! Wait, they're coming back! Leo, use this! Good idea, Katie. Let's hope this works. Now! Now let's get the Jeep here. 
The tiger didn't appear yet, so I think it worked. But what about Hero? Don't worry about Hero. His nose can lead him here. Quickly, let's go in the jeep. Oh, no. Something's coming. Hero! Hero! Good work, Hero. Now let's go. We did it. We found the baby taper's mother. Great work, everyone. Hooray! We found a baby Malayan taper in our garden. We learned that the Malayan taper lives near riverbanks with lots of shade. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The green iguana. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Those are juggling balls, Hero. Check me out. Can you pass me another ball, Hero? Thank you. This is getting difficult. Ah! Oh dear. Let's find those balls, Hero. It's a lizard. Whoa, that's a strong tail. I wonder what kind of lizard it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, lizard. Hi, Katie. So what did you find about the lizard? Hi, Leo. This lizard is a green iguana, also known as the common iguana. Some green iguanas come in different colors, and they can change their color when they get older. The green iguana you found is still young. An adult iguana can grow up to two meters long. Green iguanas are herbivores. They feed on leafy green plants, flowers, and fruits. Green iguanas can be found in rainforests of Central, South America, and the Caribbean. Green iguanas like to spend most of their time in trees. When they are high up in the tree, they can enjoy the sunlight. Sunlight helps them control their body temperature. Then we should bring our new friend back to the trees in the rainforest. Come and join us. The green iguana would love that, Leo. See you downstairs. This is a good spot for the green iguana. Enjoy, iguana! Let's hope this is the right place for it. Look up there, Leo! It's a hawk, one of the green iguana's predators. Why is the green iguana not running away? Green iguanas blend well into their surroundings. They will stay very still until a predator passes them by. It's too late! Let's use our propellers and distract the hawk. Oh no! Great move, green iguana! Its tail came off. Now let's get away from here. Poor iguana. Don't worry, Leo. Sometimes green iguanas drop their tails when they are trying to escape from a predator. This might help them get away. The iguana will even grow a new tail. Really? That's great to hear, Katie.
We found the green iguana's home. Great work, everybody. Yay! <laughs> a green iguana in our garden. We learned that green iguanas like to stay high up in trees to enjoy the sunlight. We also learned that green iguanas like to live near water. So when there's danger, they can escape by jumping into the water. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there!